In today's fast-paced digital world, focus has become a luxury. The ability to concentrate on a single task without interruption is a skill that's becoming rare, yet it's more important than ever. The book Stolen Focus shines a beacon of hope. It offers us a roadmap to navigating this digital jungle and regaining control of our attention. Let's delve into the seven lessons from Stolen Focus that will help us reclaim our attention. Our first lesson is that attention is not a scarce resource. It's a powerful idea, isn't it? That our attention, far from being finite, is abundant. But here's the catch. It's being hijacked, stolen by external forces. Tech companies, billboards, news outlets, they all vie for a slice of our attention pie. Recognizing this is paramount. Knowing is half the battle. Once we understand this, we can start to reclaim our focus, to steer our attention where it truly matters. Remember, your attention is yours to control. The second lesson introduces us to the attention merchants. These are the tech giants and social platforms that employ sophisticated tactics to seize our attention. They cleverly design their products to give us a dopamine hit every time we engage, creating a loop of addiction. They're not selling products to us, rather, they're selling us to advertisers. Our attention is their commodity. Being aware of these tactics is the first step in resisting manipulation. Our third lesson is that deep thinking is a muscle. Yes, you heard it right. Deep concentration isn't a natural gift but a skill we can all develop. How? Through consistent practice. Much like a gym routine for your body, your brain also needs regular workouts. Try activities that require sustained attention. Reading a long article, solving a complex puzzle, or even cooking a new recipe. And remember, every effort counts. Like any muscle, your focus gets stronger with regular workouts. Lesson 4 teaches us that mindfulness is the antidote. It's the balm that soothes the frenetic mind, the anchor that steadies us amidst digital chaos. By practicing mindfulness, we cultivate an awareness that allows us to detach from distractions and regain control of our mental state. This heightened consciousness not only benefits our focus, but also bolsters our overall well-being. It's like a sanctuary, a peaceful refuge from the relentless onslaught of digital stimuli. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in our fight to reclaim focus. Our fifth lesson encourages us to reconnect with nature. Consider the calming rustle of leaves in the wind, the gentle lullaby of a bubbling brook, the majesty of towering trees. These natural elements have an innate ability to soothe our frazzled minds, allowing us to refocus and rejuvenate our cognitive abilities. It's a refreshing antidote to the digital overload we often experience. Embracing the tranquility of green spaces can significantly enhance our focus and mental well-being. Nature is not just a luxury, it's a necessity for focus. Lesson 6 is all about reclaiming your information diet. Just as we consume food, we consume information. The quality of that information influences our mental well-being. Inundation with negative news or excessive social media scrolling can lead to mental fatigue and decreased focus, therefore, it's crucial to manage your information intake mindfully. Set boundaries, unfollow accounts that don't serve you, and allocate specific times for information consumption. Remember, you control your digital environment. A healthy information diet leads to a healthy mind. Our final lesson is to build a tribe of focus allies. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals can be a game-changer. These are people who understand and respect your journey towards a more focused and mindful life. They offer support, share experiences, and even act as accountability partners. Consider joining communities that prioritize deep thinking and mindful living, whether online or in person. These focus tribes can provide a nurturing environment to foster your growth. Together, we can cultivate a culture of focus. Now that you're equipped with these seven lessons, it's time to put them into action. Apply what you've learned and see the transformation unfold. If you find this content valuable, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with others who could also benefit from these lessons. Every click, every share, every conversation sparked by this video brings us closer to making mindfulness the norm. Join us on this journey to reclaim focus and let's make the world a more mindful place, one viewer at a time.